Okay, we're going to go through and look at making a web page from scratch. In order to make a web page, we need to have an idea of what we're actually aiming to make in the long run. We can sit down and draw a concept design. I'm going to do my concept design in Publisher really quickly to give an outline of the end result or the final look that the web page will have. Not in terms of color and content, but just in terms of structure. So I'm going to go and open up Publisher, and inside Publisher I'm going to put a border around our page. I'm then going to put a header in, a footer in, and a navigation bar in. Now the navigation bar, in fact any of this content doesn't really matter where you want to put it. I could put the navigation bar on the left or the right, doesn't really matter. What I'm actually wanting though is to have a goal to work towards, and this is the basic outline shape of a web page that we're going to go for. Okay, we're ready to move into the next phase of our web page building. We've decided on the structure of the page, now we actually need to begin to hard code it. The editor I'm going to use is Notepad++. It is a source code editor that has more features than the basic Notepad document does. It will allow us to do a little bit more and it will allow us to see what's happening inside the document. I'm going to open up Notepad. Your location will be different than mine, but the end result will be the same. When you open Notepad++, you'll see a screen that looks like this, and as we start adding content, whatever that content is, it will number the lines down. This will come in handy later on because we'll be able to go through and work out where our errors are if we have any. Okay, now we've had a look at Notepad++, we're going to go through and set up the structure for saving our website. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder and this folder is going to sit on my desktop and I'm going to call it Web Design 1. I would suggest that you save your folder in your H drive. Once I've got my folder set up, I'm going to go into Notepad++ and right click on the top tab and save it as a folder inside the website design folder that I just made. So I'll find the website design folder, Web Design 1, open that up, and in there I'm going to save this as index.html. It's important that you have your home page saved as index.html rather than home page or this is the page that my website starts on or page one or anything else. Index.html is the default way of saving your page. If you lift this up onto the web server so that it goes on the internet, many web engines look for index.html they don't look for any of those other titles so I'll save that there and now I can just save as we're working through